Hey guys, welcome to Titans of Tabletop, and today we're working on hay is for horses and sometimes for cows. Hay bale. We're talking about hay bales. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm DM Dan, and uh, this is our very first craft video, so I'm super excited. We're at the table. We're going to make those hay bales um, that you can put around as scatter terrain um, during your game. Uh, it's a nice little scatter terrain. It's not the most important thing to build, but it's quick and easy, and uh, we will show you that. So for materials, you want to start off with... I, I did um, some insulation foam right here okay so you want some of that uh, I also use um, a small uh, machinist ruler um, I do recommend using one of these for those small projects um, I used to actually I, I still do occasionally uh, work on wooden doll houses and um, these rulers get in those areas, those tight little areas, so it's, it's a useful uh, ruler. Um, so we got that. You're going to want a um, some sort of blade. I just used the utility blade. I wasn't looking for the most perfect cuts um, because it, it's going to be rough um, at first. Like you, you really don't, it doesn't matter if it's rough because uh, they'll be covered up and you'll see it that so I just used the utility blade um, I also used um, six of these small rubber bands uh, you can see that they're not very big right there and then I also used um, for the hay uh, bale itself the, the actual hay part of it I used my daughter has a uh, pencil sharpener and um, it makes these very fine little curly cues that I thought hey that would be actually pretty useful for uh, some flock or um, anything like that so I'm going to attempt to use my first time attempting to use these pencil shavings um, for uh, our hay bales today so you got your knife you got your foam you got your ruler you got your rubber bands and you always want to have uh, some sort of uh, sharpie um, to mark your foam um, or any other kind of uh, marking indication. I guess you could use a pen. Uh, try not to dig too deep in most cases unless you want that uh, look. But um, really digging deep on this doesn't really matter um, because you'll cut these out. As you'll see here, I already pre-cut. Um, I took my um, insulation foam and I measured out a grid of inch by three-quarter inch um, little rectangles and I made a grid a four by fit four grid so I already cut them out ahead of time so we would see and they come out to be these little little squares here so what I did was I put it next to a miniature and it still kind of looked a little big so what I did was cut just shave this bottom end, end off a little bit um, and you'll see here I cut about that much off so not much and they came out to be you know a little smaller you can see with the with the character there, it looks a little more uh, to his size, I would say, for a hay bale. Uh, plus, you're going to get some height a little bit with the um, the pencil shavings. So, um, so I got eight of these. Oop. Eight different versions. 
And this, I, I'm not, I haven't uh, done these before. This isn't something I've done before. I'll show you here. You just like give a little cut. And it really doesn't matter how rough it is because it's going to be covered up. Discard that. And uh, I never did these before, so this is first for me and first for you guys. Uh, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to leave this this area flat and not put any uh, flocking on there so they sit a little more stable on the table there. Um, so, uh, oh, and also we need, obviously, I'm using some glue all, Elmer's glue all. And then after that all dries, uh, the first... Uh, thing I'm going to use a 50 50 um, a glue water um, to do a little little wash there with the glue uh, this is a little uh, more water than than 50 50 I asked my I asked my fiance if she could run up real quick and do a 50 50 I, I even put this line I said fill the water up to here and she came back with it filled so I was like well I'm not going to waste it I'll still use it but it, it's a, it goes all over the place so usually when you do 50-50 it's not as bad um, this you'll see later on it'll get pretty messy I'm sure so the plan is I'm going to cover these with glue and um, put on oh I also have a uh, I also have this shoe box here that I'm just going to uh, place them in after uh, afterwards. Now they may get stuck a little bit if you have um, wax paper. I'd suggest doing that. Um, I don't have wax paper at the moment, so we're just going to wing it. Uh, I'm going to hold each end like this on the ends first. I'm just going to cover these in I mean not you don't want to go crazy heavy uh, but you do want to get full coverage full thick coverage but not not crazy heavy All right. and we'll grab some of our pencil shavings and I'm just gonna start placing it all on there You can add as much as uh, as you want or as little as you want, and really doesn't matter. Um, it's looking kind of good right now already. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Most likely after this next part, I just wanted to get a base one, and I'm gonna take the rubber band. I'm going to wrap that down and then twist it around here. Oop. If I can get my fingers to work. And then put this back up like that. Even them out a little bit. Push these down. Alright. So you can see there, it's got those straps around there. We're going to add a little bit more glue. Um, some more flocking. Take a little white from here. But yeah. Pretty much do that. After you do that, you're also going to add to the sides. Um, and I will come back once I am uh, done all these ones and we'll see what they look like. Hey guys, like. so I'm back. 
I um, ran out of pencil shavings, so I could only do uh, six. But you could see how they turned out with the um, pencil shavings and the rubber band uh, straps. Um, some of them I tested uh, rolling in it. Um, and you can see that I think this is one. They didn't come out as good as giving it the good old love with your fingers, but uh, wow, that didn't sound right. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you can see the rolling kind of looks there. But, but these are going to be painted, so we'll see what they look like at the end to see if there's um, a difference between rolling uh, them in there and, um, and placing it with your fingers. Um, don't worry if you have some spots of uh, the insulation foam showing through because like I said you will be painting them so unless it's like not like a big corner that's sticking out uh, you should be fine you can see uh, you can see that guy next to the hay bale he's ready to throw it somewhere I don't know but uh, it's it's uh, looks pretty good next to the miniature I think these two ones came out the best uh, that rubber band's a little off, but hey, I, I, you know, artists. You, if you when you're an artist, you always get picky, but you can't, you can't really get picky with D and D crafting because you're a DM, and you you got a lot of stuff to do. You got quests and NPCs and and uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, so crafting, um, I love it, but you, you can't try to make it perfect all the time. Uh, you'll just end up getting yourself frustrated. Um, so just have fun, and once you start getting frustrated, it's it's no fun anymore. So you can see I have two two left over here that I didn't get to. Um, maybe I'll use them for something else, or maybe my next uh, batch of uh, um, pencil shavings. I'll I'll finish up two more of these because I like to make a bunch. When you make stuff like this, especially, you want to make a bunch. Um, that way you, know, you have your materials out already and you can just line them up and then paint them all um, so it's easier um, this will be our first uh, crafting video um, in a, a set that I want to do of more of like a village um, so after we do these hay ba I do these hay bales here um, I think next up I'll be working on uh, shacks um, and so on and so forth, uh, village related, um, things, and then I'll move on to dungeon related things and so forth. Um, but our next step is going to be to take the 50-50. Once this is dry, of course, these aren't dry, so I'm going to come back when they are, and we're going to put the 50-50 on there, um, just to strengthen it up a little bit, make these little flakes that are sticking out, not want to fall off. Uh, you might want to do one or two coats of this uh, depending upon how the first coat comes out. We'll see. Um, a lot of times I'm like, yeah, that's good. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. So I will be back when these are dry. I'm actually off to work right now and um, I'll be back. We'll get the 50-50 on here. We'll let that dry overnight. I will come back in the morning again and um, and then yeah, and then we'll we'll paint them up. All right, uh, I'll be hey guys. Right back. I'm back. Um, I've let these dry for about nine and ten hours, and you can see how they're coming out. It's looking pretty good. Um, honestly, I really like the coloration uh, that the pencil shavings are giving. Um, I'm almost half tempted to not even paint them, um, but I am I am going to paint it. Um, but you can see those rubber bands are uh, kind of showing through there, uh, looking like the um, ties to the uh, to the hay. Um, we got our other uh, five here, and now we're on our next step. So our next step is going to be to take our 50/50 uh, glue, and what I'm going to do is I oh and I found um, some wax paper, so they won't stick as bad. They still will stick to it, but um, it won't be as bad. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to cover it with the 
uh, glue and water and my hope is is that it will strengthen up these little um, these little pieces here so they don't flake off um, as much you see I got a little foam showing through there that's okay though I mean you're gonna paint it people aren't really gonna notice you you don't really have to or even want to uh, spend a lot of time on these it's just a little quick little project just for some uh, added um, elements to the uh, to the ter to your terrain um, so I'm just going to show you one like I did the last time um, and I'm going to knock out these other ones real quick I'm going to let them dry overnight and then we'll come back in the morning and uh, take a look at them so I'm just going to pour this crap all over here it's real watery because of my uh, yeah, you know, like I said, because of my fiance, uh, didn't know how to do 50/50, but you can see it's it's very watery. But it's gonna make this pretty strong. I'm just gonna roll this in it a little bit. In fact, I may roll all of them. Uh, it might be a little easier. You always find some new ways. Uh, to improve or to to make things quicker, uh, it's trial and error. You know, um, give a little squirt. Try not to do too much, but it, it's coming out so fast that uh, there's not much I can do. And I'm hoping too that this kind of mats it down a little bit, so that the um, the little flakes don't stick out too far maybe this glue will uh, hold it down a little better um, and uh, make it more flush um, but yeah don't worry you can see I'm getting glue all over my hands what crafter hasn't um, if, if you don't get glue on your hands if you don't get glue uh, you know I have glue in just about every crevice I own by the time I'm done sometimes uh, craft and it's all part of the fun get messy get your hands in there uh, like I said earlier when I was rolling them in versus uh, putting it on by hand um, there's just a lot more love when you get your hands dirty and, and get your hands in there and believe it or not that really will show uh, when these are done or when anything that you do is done I uh, don't know if I got this one, but we'll get this one again. I'll just, this one was one of the uh, roll ones. Now, as far as, um, like I was saying, put it, putting the, these on with, with your fingers and getting your fingers all messy, you could really see, especially now that it's dry, the big difference um, in the ones that I rolled in the um, pencil shavings and the ones that I, I put on by hand, um, the ones that I rolled in the pencil shavings, I put the rubber bands on first, um, and uh, it, it didn't really show that well. Um, you can see there, I'm just trying to make some of these show a little bit more. Uh, and when you're putting them on by hand, the thing, you want to kind of mold it a little bit, as much as you can. Um, just to, uh, you know, you mat it down a little bit, mold it around, and bang, you got, you got some hay bales, so, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> so, basically, we're going to let these dry, and you might even want to get, um, another coat on there, um, I'm just re-rolling some of these through, through the glue, uh, and one thing that helps too is you can see this bottom here where I twisted the rubber band around it actually like keeps it and like I said I've never done this before the the hay bales so it was all trial and error for me um, but that little knot kinda keep kept uh, the hay bales a little elevated so I think that helped it from sticking um, uh, to originally to that cardboard. Um, uh, now this parchment paper, we'll see, um, it shouldn't really stick to it anyway all that much. But 
with this being so watery, some of those rubber bands actually might stick to this. Uh, but it won't stick bad, and we're going to actually, one of the steps is going to be to take this off so it sits more flush. Um, and we'll get to that. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to let these dry overnight. Uh, I'm going to get some sleep. Maybe. Probably not, but I'm going to try. And, um... And then I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow morning, fresh and early, check on these, make sure they're dry. If they are, um, I'll show you what they look like all dried up and hardened. Um, and then we'll, we'll, cut those, uh, we'll cut those rubber bands off. And, um, yeah, see, I, sometimes, I, you know, you get that glue, you got to rub it in, you know. Get in there, get, be part of it, you know what I mean. Uh, so... Yeah, so we're going to cut those, uh, the bottom parts of those rubber bands off. Uh, hopefully this glue um, will be enough to keep that, um, the top part of the rubber band on top of it. Uh, hopefully it'll keep that um, on there and, and that won't come popping off uh, when we cut those bands off. So we'll find out about that. Um, so until tomorrow, I'll, I will be right back uh, as far as you're concerned. But these will sit overnight as far as I'm concerned. So I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so you can see how they look after the drying. Uh, I let these dry for quite some time. Uh, the first um, bit of glue that I put to initially stick on, uh, it only took about t uh, 10 hours. Well, I was at work, so when I came home, they were, they were pretty much dry and good to go. And then I used that water uh, glue mix to cover it, and that took significantly longer, uh, a lot longer than I expected. Um, I let it dry for a full 24 hours, and it still was a little wet and, and sloppy, so I let them dry for an additional 24, and they were good. Um, but by that time, I was busy with work and, and all that kind of stuff, so I couldn't get back to it. Uh, then we had D and D game. I had to take down the rigging uh, for the camera. Um, but today I am off and I am back, and they are fully, fully dry. And you can see that I tested some on the cuts on the bottom. Um, actually, my friend Kevin, uh, not the one that's in the video, is a different Kevin had come over and he said, hey, let me give it a try. And he cut some of those bottoms off. Um, and he's like, wow, that's that's pretty easy. So it just shows, he's not a crafter, so it just goes to show you that these are really easy to do. Um, and I'll show you how I decided to cut um, the bottoms off. So pretty much I took one of these and I have this thing, it's called a clever cutter and you can see it has a little razor blade in there and it's a nice protective uh, thing but gets under there pretty good I'll put my finger here so it doesn't pull it and then just pull like that and those bands are staying in place, so I'm, I'm actually getting a little overconfident a little bit on them staying in place, so I'm willing to bet that one of them uh, snap off, but we'll see. All right, so there we go. Cut off. That way it, uh, it sits a little flush. You'll have some overhang, and what you can do with that is just take your, uh, this or uh, the utility blade or... Um, a exacto blade. Um, I can't really find mine at the minute. Um, and just go and cut those little pieces off that are hanging. Real easy, real simple, and they come out looking great. So um, I've showed a bunch of people these uh, that play D and D and that don't play D and D. Um, they have come over my house in the meantime and uh, they they love these things for some reason I, I don't know it's it's something real simple but they uh, like my friend Kev like I said he came over and he 
cut some and he was over here just stacking them up you know on the uh, uh, stacking them together um, and it's just it's kind of fun you put your character behind there you could see there a little mock well I mean you can't really but they stack all nicely um, alright so I'm gonna get to cutting the rest of these there's about three or four of them left um, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to start painting these bad boys up and I'll show you what colors I had in mind um, but be forewarned I am colorblind so sometimes my colors don't agree with people but um, there is a method to my artistic madness I suppose um, so I will be right back once I get these cut and the paints all um, in this area to show you alright be right back. Well, how to do? Wrestling Pete here, telling you thank you for watching this video on your magic box. Please like, subscribe, and share. And make sure to tune in for part two when those hay bales get painted up for my cattle. I'll talk to you later.